the people in the streets go dancing round and round. And guns and swords and uniforms were gathered on the ground. Hey, hey, be so! We're gathered here on the green in Brunswick, Maine, as part of the 76th International Commemoration of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki tragedies. We'll be sharing our thoughts about the necessity of abolishing all nuclear weapons, and we'll do what we can to urge the United States to sign and ratify the treaty for the prohibition of nuclear weapons. What a signal that would be to the world, for the world's greatest bully to shift from muscle power to moral strength. That would take real daring and imagination and wisdom. So it's been 76 years since the United States dropped a nuclear bomb onto the city of Hiroshima, and then three days later, onto Nagasaki. 100,000 people minimum were killed in one felt swoop. These weren't enemies, they were the people of Japan, men, women, children, elders. It's a folly that after that event, we did not ban nuclear weapons. The world has decided that we must ban nuclear weapons. The United States is not cooperating with that desire. On the contrary, we're spending billions of dollars to modernize our nuclear weapons. We need to speak out against this. We need all of America to be outraged. Tell your elected representative, tell your church, tell your neighbors, tell everyone you know. It's time to abolish nuclear weapons. Amen. Well, I think that uh, Hiroshima can never be forgotten. And unfortunately, it's been forgotten, uh, especially by the newer generations who don't know anything about the horror of nuclear war. Uh, you know, and now the U.S. government is uh, coming up with advanced nuclear missiles. Uh, they think that they can maintain a limited nuclear war, which is absolute idiocy uh, and, and a horror. So I'm here today to make sure that people, at least those that we can run to, know a little bit more about the, the horror of promotion. So I'm with Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. And many parts of the world know that Hiroshima was a war crime. You know, I can remember the day like it was yesterday that they dropped the bomb on Hiroshima. I was 16 years old and I didn't really understand what an atomic bomb was, but it's, uh, it's a historic day and uh, it's one that I'm ashamed of for, for my country. Thank you. I'd just like to say, no more bombs. <laughs> a nuclear war is a terminal war. It's over. We're done. Finished. Quote, unquote. Noam Chomsky. And it says it just the way it is. And it's pretty shocking. And I don't understand why more people are not talking about the United States not being uh, joining the rest of the UN or most, most other countries in the world to outlaw it and declare it a crime against humanity to use, build, move, whatever, nuclear bombs, or nuclear weapons. They need to be, you know, taken off the face of the earth in order for us to survive. It's just as challenging as climate change. I was 14 years old when the bomb fell, and uh, I remember we all ended up in church. I think everybody was so glad that the war was over. And I can remember one uh, woman, uh, Mrs. Scapatici, whose son had been killed in the war, and she wore a black mantilla, I remember. It was a beautiful sunny day, and uh, we all ended up in church. I, I didn't see many people weeping, which I've always wondered why when you annihilate a city. I would just like to see my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, and all of our, our other children yes. grow up in a world where we didn't have to worry about nuclear weapons. So I hope that we can ratify this treaty as many other countries have been. Perfect. It's perfect. And that to ratify a treaty like this, which the rest of the world is into and concerned about, and we can puts us out in a place which is damaging to us, not so damaging to other people. Thank you for doing this.
For so many years, we've had a peace fair here. We don't have the peace fair anymore on this weekend, but we still have the same concerns and the memories of, of Hiroshima. And it just is amazing that we have not made the progress that we should have made. Um, there's not much more to say. We keep fighting for having nuclear weapons and better, bigger and better ones. Uh, it's a real shame. An end to all wars. What my sign says, war is not the answer and it has not ended anything. There's only one country in the world that has ever used nuclear weapons on another people and that's the United States. I went to Japan in 1984 and I was part of a tour group and we went to Hiroshima and Nagasaki and in Hiroshima I'll never forget the Hibakusha the survivors telling the story about after the bombing in Hiroshima the United States military came in and didn't initially allow any medical people to come in but instead the U.S. sent in radiological teams to take pictures of the injured, to cut off arms and legs, to take blood and skin samples, and then they sent all that back to the United States. And then they allowed the, the Red Cross and other uh, medical people to come in and treat those who were suffering terribly from the. So it's very clear what the United States' intention was by dropping those bombs. We're standing now in a circle to collect signatures on a petition urging the United States to sign and ratify the treaty for the prohibition of nuclear weapons. And we're reading excerpts from the treaty ban itself, which is a powerful experience. Many of us are new to activism and we're struck hard by the power of those words that speak to the urgency of abolishing all nuclear weapons which is a global public good of the highest order. Last night I had a strange dream. I had a man and more. I dreamed the world had a dream to put an end to war. Sincere thanks to all the organizers who shaped this program.